Hi guys, in this video, I am comparing Garnier Super UV Niacinamide Sunscreen with Eucerin Sun All Control Dry Touch Sunscreen. Basically, what I want to share with you guys is which is more matte. This question was asked by Catherine1103, so I hope this video answers your question. Just to put this out there, I have reviewed these sunscreens individually. I'll leave links in the description box as well as in the comment section to make sure you check them out. So these sunscreens are lightweight chemical sunscreens that are cast free, do not sting the eyes or peel, and they're recommended to those who have combination oily and acne prone skin. So here's how I'm going to compare them. First, I'll do a hand swatch to show you guys what it looked like side by side. And next, I'll show you a face application of both sunscreens side by side. Starting first with the hand swatch. The first product I'm going to swatch is the Garnier Super UV Niacinamide Sunscreen. And you guys can see that this is liquid. Then next, I would go in to swatch the Eucerin Sun or Control Dry Touch. And you can see that this is thick and it's not moving anywhere. I'm just going to spread them so you see. So that's all for hand swatch. Now I will show you guys the face application. So now that you've seen the face application, did you notice any difference? Let me know in the comment section. Before I go on to share with you guys what I think about this sunscreen and then come to the conclusion of if it's matte or not. If you remember, I showed you guys the time of application, which is 12.54. I'm going to do a wet test where I show you guys my face by 1.54 and by 2.54. And then I can conclude and let you guys know which one I find more mattifying. Bear in mind, I'll be going out. It's quite sunny out there and I can't wait to be out in the sun so i'm super excited about that so in terms of how this feels on the skin one is like water and the other one is like cream so it's like thick and liquid in terms of the finish on the skin after application i felt like the liquid side was more mattifying than the cream side and i think this is normal because of course when something is liquid it dries down faster as opposed to something that is you know in the lotion form or in a cream form in terms of the formula, I'll read out the sunscreen filters. So I'll start first with the Ghani one. It includes Octisale, Evenol T150, Tinosub S, Avobenzone, Mexero XL, and Mexero SX. Whereas for the Eucerin one, there's Avobenzone, Tinosub S, Evenol T150, Enzolizo, and Juvenal A+. So moving on to other ingredients that stand out in the product. For the Garnier one, we have niacinamide, salicylic acid, zinc PCA, tocopherol, glycerin, and aloe vera juice. Whereas for the Eucerin one, the only ingredient that stood out for me is glycerin. In terms of how they smell, let me swatch them a little and sniff it. They are both fragrance free and essential oil free, but they both contain alcohol. So, Eucerine. Then Garnier. What I pick from them is sweet and also alcohol. I understand that it's fragrance free, but things used to create products could have like a scent of their own. You know what I mean? Because even if you store your water in a bottle for longer days, it's going to have a smell, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go off camera right now and I'll be back to show you guys what my face looks like in an hour and in two hours. Then we conclude this video. Guys, I had to run. This is the time right now, 1.59 p.m. <sighs> I'm just five minutes late, so it's fine. Um, I'm gonna come forward so you guys can get like a closer view of my face. Let me clip my hair real quick so that you guys can see my face very well. Garnier, Eucerin.
Gagne, Eucerin. So look at myself with the mirror. Um, both sides, you know, look alike to me. I don't see one side shinier than the other. Um, you notice the shine majorly on my T zone. Um, my dry sides are still very much dry. So I feel like in two hours we'll be able to tell, or I'll be able to share with you guys which one is a lot more matte, if that makes sense. Um, because I feel like in two hours, um, maybe one will get shinier than the other or they could just remain the same. So um, let's see how it goes, okay? So see you guys in two hours. Hi guys, so I'm back again. The time right now is 3 p.m. And here's what my face looks like. I'll come forward to get like a close of you. So on this side, I have Garnier and on this side, I have Eucerin. So Garnier on this side and Eucerin on this side. Garnier, Eucerin. So now that you've seen my face before application, after application, one hour after, as well as now that it's two hours after application, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. So if you ask me, I'd say that immediately after application, I felt like the Garnier side was a lot more matte than the Eucerin. I think always when it comes to fluid sunscreens for me, I find them more matte depending um, because now when I think about the other Garnier, I didn't find it matte at all. And after one hour of application, they both were on the same part to me. I didn't find one side China than the other. And now that it's over two hours, they are also the same to me. I don't think any side is a lot more shiny than the other side because I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I want to kind of give it to the user, but yeah, I want to give it to the uterine somehow, but no. Looking at this area, like my cheeks, as well as my forehead, they are the same. Let me know what you guys think, because I've showed you guys what my face looks like up close. I really would love to hear what you think. Um, so, Katrine1103, I hope this video answers your question. Guys, if you have more questions, so let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely answer you guys. With that being said, this is the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.